Hi everybody, welcome to Deb's Way, and of course, I'm Deb. Who else would I be? Well, it is true my mother wanted to name me Linda, but anyway, I don't need to even go there. My name is, I am Deb, okay? Uh, today is a very hot, humid, summery type day in Central Florida. And I had to run a couple of errands this morning and um, do a little banking, doing a little shopping, and I just happened to have a little person inside me that said, go to Dollar Tree, go to Dollar Tree. And I tried to talk myself out of it, but before I knew it, I found myself at Dollar Tree. So let me show you what I got there. It was fun. And yes, it's true that everybody out and around yet, most everybody, is wearing masks and taking precautions. And I, I was glad to see that. You know, it it doesn't hurt to take precautions. It may take a little effort on some part to do that, but you know what? It's better than the possibility of, of you or one of your loved ones getting sick. And this is not just an elderly person disease either that's coming around or virus coming around, because they are saying more and more that um, younger adults you know, are coming down with it, as well as children having a form of it. So we just all have to take precaution and whip this thing in the butt, okay? That's it. Anyway, enough said on that subject. Let me get into what I bought at Dollar Tree. I had fun there, and I looked. I looked for a lot of gardening supplies, too, but I see other channels that have bought some really, really neat country-looking things and garden um, tools of sorts. I don't find that at my Dollar Tree though. I guess I'm gonna to have to hunt down a couple different ones and shop at them. I can, I can do that, I can handle that. That's going to be my mission in the future. But for today, my Dollar Tree had just a few things that caught my eye. Uh, one of which was something that I've actually been looking for, but I haven't been, usually I buy this kind of stuff at Bed Bath & Beyond, but I haven't been there in quite a long time. And I just happened to see this at Dollar Tree, so I thought, okay, fine. It is a vegetable brush. You know, mine, yeah, after a while, they get kind of grungy looking, you know, and beat up. So, they, I mean, you just have to toss them. This was only a dollar, so when I toss this thing, I'm not going to be upset whatsoever. I think I'll get my dollar's worth out of it. So I bought that. And they, right in the door, they put all the holiday theme type merchandise and of course coming up is Memorial Day and what they put out was this kind of stuff. Now what am I going to do with this? Well I have a small collection of fans like this. Um, uh, some of them are from Europe, you know different places in Europe and Great Britain and I thought well I bought me one of these fans and then I, I bought another, this same type of fan to send over to my friend in England. Um, I thought she might get a kick out of it too. I thought it was different. And you know what? It is useful. If you're out and around in that, it does work. Rem I remember making fans like this out of just a piece of paper. You'd put the folds in it and then spread out the paper and you'd have yourself a paper fan. You know, we used to use those as kids. So maybe this is where it's coming from. I have my little fan. Okay, don't laugh. Let me put this other one here. This is the other one I'm gonna send out. And next, well eventually here, I am going to find a farmer's market open somewhere. I want to buy a lot of vegetables and I, because I can't, I don't have a garden big enough to produce that and I want to buy some fruit. And the main purpose for fruit is that I want to do some canning. I want to learn how to can. I've got the pressure canner and I'm raring to go. I've got the ball pressure canning book, <laughs> you know? And what I think I want to try first of all, actually, is a jam. So along with that idea comes to mind that for the jars, you have to label them. And I, yeah, I know that you can buy the paper labels and stick those on there, but I thought I'll buy erasable marking pens and mark the cans that way, or jars that way, rather. So we'll see how that works out, okay? I'm not sure. 
if this will work or not, but we'll give it a try. So I've got the jars, I've got the marking pens, I've got the canner. I just need the produce to put in it. It'll come. Okay, and at Dollar Tree too, yes, I've got some birthdays coming up soon. I bought a couple more cards. I have looked at other places that I used to buy cards, you know, like at, at the grocery store for one, and at Walgreens, and at the um, mall, the, the uh, Hallmark store wasn't open there, so I resorted to Dollar Tree and found the cards that I needed. And I, I found some pretty decent cards to send out. At least I do like to send cards in the mail yet. I love to receive mail like that myself. So I do still like to send things out in the mail. And I had problems finding, you know, appropriate or nice enough cards to send out. It's, I know people are getting away from that sort of thing, but there are those of us who still do appreciate receiving nice, friendly mail like that. Not just email. Email is nice. Texts are nice as well. But mail is, is nice. It's, it's nicer to get something like that in the mail other than just bills and, and flyers and advertisements and all that kind of stuff, you know? Anyway, I sound like I'm preaching today. I, I don't mean to be. Maybe it's just the heat getting to me. Uh, so, another thing that I bought, well, on one of my last trips there, they had their summer display all newly set up and there were a lot of pinks and greens and an orange and a very, very pretty turquoise color. And I bought a couple of mugs. Well, I bought one more. This was the only one left. But since I did want to make it a twosome, I bought a green one. I like these mugs. I've been using mine. My iced tea tastes absolutely delicious in these little plastic mugs. So, I have two more to add to the collection. Those over there. And that's that back down. And of course at the Dollar Tree, I mean, I you know, you go down this one aisle and it's full of all these chips and goodies and cookies and whatever else and, well, my husband got his favorite candy. So it goes in the, we have a specific drawer in the kitchen that is for this sort of thing. So he has a stockpile in the drawer. But of course I have my favorites there too. And these you cannot find in the regular grocery store or anywhere else I've checked, like Walgreens. I only find these at Dollar Tree for some reason. This is Russell Stover Coconut Cream. Now, this bag is a dollar, not bad. There's only six pieces in it. It's a white chocolate with a coconut cream center and it's absolutely fantastic. Maybe I'm just as glad that it's not sold anywhere else. Too easy to find, too easy to buy. But this goes in my little stash. Same drawer, you know, but I have my side of the stash and my husband has his side of the stash drawer. And let's see here. The next thing, oh yeah, and never the two shall be mixed. <laughs> that, that's not true. Yeah, we, we do share back and forth a little bit. But I know that he loves those peanut butter cups, so I, I, I don't really get into those at all. Another thing that I knew that I was running low on and I just figured, well, I saw it. They, they put on a display, like an end cap, that had all the uh, picnic-y type supplies necessary for Memorial Day weekend. You know, your hot dogs, hot dog buns, and ketchup, and mustard, and relish, and whatever else, and plates, and you know, that sort of thing. And I thought, well, you know what? I just used my mustard the other day, and I'm running low, so why not? I picked up a thing of mustard. This will last me for quite a while, this size. And, you know, for a dollar, it's French's. French's is a good brand, and that's a decent size for us, so no problem. That wasn't a big expense, so I thought, why not? Now, a couple of other things that I'll show you, not everything, but I did get a couple of things for a birthday present, ideas to put together with other stuff, so I'm not going to show that, but I'll show you what I bought me. Uh, it's along the same line. 
going down this one aisle, they had these little ceramic plates that had a, a picture design on them. And one of those designs had the saying, enjoy the journey. Last summer, when we were in New Smyrna Beach, well, actually, I found a, a, a counted cross-stitch picture that says, enjoy the enjoy the journey. And it's a bicycle with flowers and that, like you're gonna take a trip through life, you know? And also, in that same store, I found a tea towel that had that same message on it, and it was already embroidered on, enjoy, enjoy the journey. So I bought that and the picture, and I did the cross stitch, and I put that in a frame, and it's hanging in my kitchen, and I will show a picture of that at the end of this, okay? Well, then I walk into Dollar Tree today, and I go down this aisle, and I find this. Can you read that? Let me see here. It's a bicycle scene with flowers, and it says, enjoy the journey. It was, it was just calling out to me, you know, saying, buy me, buy me. I had to buy it. So that is going, I don't know where it's going. I may hang it on the wall. I may use it as a spoon rest in the kitchen. I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do with it. But it's the same motif and the same saying that I've already got in my kitchen in different places. So, you know, what can I say? It was a dollar. And for a dollar, I listened to the calling. Okay, so it got me that. And the other things that I bought, I'm not gonna show, there are, this, there are little designer plates like this with a different saying on it, but it's for gifties and I'm afraid somebody might see it and, and it's, that's okay. It will be maybe shown at a later date, okay? I don't know. Or maybe shown on somebody else's channel somewhere down the road, who knows. So actually then, that wraps up my haul. Just a minute here. I don't know why, but all of a sudden, I'm feeling a little, not a hot flash, but overheated. <laughs> anyway, that does wrap up my haul. I enjoyed it. I probably spent, I don't even think it was $20 for what I bought, but it was fun going through the store. And I mean, I went through the whole store and, but I'm gonna to have to go to a different Dollar Tree and see what gardening supplies they have and look closely and compare them. Maybe I need to go to another Dollar General as well and see how that varies from the one that I typically go to. Maybe they all carry different stuff, you know, some similar things, but then some different stuff. We'll see. I'm gonna make that my mission now for the summer. So we'll see what I come up with. But for right now, that's about it for here. I hope you're all having a great day out there. You take care. We'll be talking again real soon, but it's going to be, what is it? Bye for now.